Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed and shuffled over the cards. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards. It's getting late. <laughs> um, first card that we are going to pull from is from the deck Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I'm going to go ahead and then pull one from John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. And I'm going to pull two from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels deck. What is going on? So I'm getting for some of you. You're going to have a, a, a big epiphany. And this is a game changer. This is a major arcana. So this, this is going to completely change the game in your love life for you. And if you read the bottom, which really isn't so applicable to you, <laughs> but on the bottom it does say, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others and answers that come through meditation. Now, meditation is true. I, I get that you're going to do a lot of introspective reflecting and, and you're really going to, for those of you that are single, I get that you're really going to discover and, and decide what it is that you want in a partner. And it's gonna kind of be an aha moment for some of you because you're gonna realize, oh my gosh, this is why relationships haven't worked out with anyone else because I really desire this with someone instead. And, and the others haven't brought that to the table, which is why I've lacked the joy and commitment and um, satisfaction in those relationships. But, but it is gonna be a, an aha moment. And for some of you, I get, you're gonna have an epiphany about a relationship that you are in. For some of you, I get, you're, you're not happy. And the reason why you're not happy is going to come out. And, um, and then you're gonna have to have that, those conversations with your partner. And for some of you, I get that after those conversations, things are gonna turn around for better. And for some of, those, for some of you, I get that then you're going to um, have the opportunity to go and find that elsewhere. But I do get that it, that it is just a big aha moment and, and you do realize what it is that you need and desire for your happiness, which is huge. It really just is a tremendous insight into your heart, into your desires, into what it is that you need in a partnership with someone. And I do get for a small number of you, and I do hope that this is a small number of you. Hopefully it's only one or two of you, and I hopefully I'm wrong, but I don't get that I will be for a couple of you. I get this, this epiphany. You've not been happy in your relationship for a while, and you've not known really what, what's off. He or she doesn't seem happy. You're not happy. You've just not been able to really get to the bottom of it, not really knowing what it is. And I get that you're going to discover that your your partner has been cheating on you, which is going to lead to you needing to make a very quick decision. And I do get that you're going to make the right decision. And, I, and Archangel Michael, he's saying to ask him for the strength because it is going to be a very emotionally charged time and it's not going to be easy, but he's going to be able to help you act swiftly and logically because I get it, it's just, it's, it's gonna come out of nowhere, it's gonna knock you off your seat, and you're not gonna know what to do, where to go, and you're not even gonna be able to, to think through the steps because your, your mind's gonna be so clouded by emotion and heartbreak and betrayal that you know, you're just not gonna be able to do it on your own, and you don't have to. So Archangel Michael wants you to know that he and all the other angels are there to help you, but ask him for strength and he is going to help you logically get through that one step at a time because that epiphany and discovery is going to lead to immediate changes in your life as well as you know your living arrangements so just be prepared to call on archangel michael for assistance with that next card we have is nine of ariel now those of you that this is a message for i'm so happy for you this is if you can read the bottom of it it says your dreams are fulfilled Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. And what I get with this is, you know, you can see they're having the flag stand out. So it's almost like she has surrendered to love. She has surrendered to the divine things that are waiting for her. Um, you know, she's healed. She's gotten herself to a magical state, like the little unicorn, ready to receive the blessings, the other side of the rainbow, and really, you know, surrendered, like, like put together the list of, you know, here's what I desire and a mate, and, and turn that over to God, and let go and let God. And, and for those of you that have done that, because I get that, that the, those of you that this is a message for, you've done a lot of inner work. 
you've done a lot of healing a lot of releasing you've just done a lot of work to get yourself ready for that next step in your life that next stage to bring in that partner who's going to complement your life and what i'm getting is that this is going to be the month that that's going to happen and I do get that it is just, you've just really put in the work. There's just been a lot to heal and prepare yourself and just truly wholeheartedly surrendered and, and prepared yourself for the relationship of a lifetime. And they're saying it's going to be magical. And I get for a small number of you, it has in the recent, very recent past started to manifest and, and like you're doubting it. So what they want you to know is stop doubting. You've earned this. Your dreams really are coming true. They've heard your prayers. This is just the answering of your prayers. So sit back and enjoy the magic that you've created by doing all your work and preparing yourself because your dreams are coming true. Next card is open up. So for some of you that haven't done your work, for you to get to the place where your dreams are coming true, you're going to need to open up you're going to need to share your emotions i'm getting for some of you 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 have met someone special but you won't let them in you've completely blocked yourself and i get for some of you you're you're in a relationship and some conflict came up and you just completely immediately withdrew from them you clammed up you put up the wall the dividers and put a complete wedge between you and them and I'm going to pull open his guidebook because this is a new deck. And I really like the information he has in here. So, sometimes past sorrows cause you to withdraw, both from your emotions and from other people, as a way of preventing further pain. However, this closing up or shutting down prevents a flow of energy from you, them and you, interfering with the ability of the universe to fulfill your desires. When this card appears, it suggests that you may have blocked or closed off your energy in some way. Have you let sadness or fear prevent you from moving forward into a more satisfying, loving relationship? Release this blocking energy by working with affirmations, prayers, and your spirit guides. The more you open up your energy field, the sooner you will receive what you desire. So again, I do get it that it's a block. I, I get for I get for some of you, you have a new love interest on the horizon, but you're so afraid of getting hurt because you've been hurt in the past that you just won't let them in. And I get for some of you, if, if, if you continue to stay blocked, you're going to permanently push that person away. And then you're going to realize when it's too late that that was the perfect partner for you. So it's best to jump on your inner work, release those fears, let those things go and open yourself up to the magic and the blessings that await you. Next card we have is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life and you'll see there's this this unicorn he's trapped inside the the, the fencing but at any point and he's laying down at any point that unicorn can stand up and jump over that fence and i get that's the case for you you you're feeling trapped but you're allowing yourself to be trapped you've you've turned your control over to that partner or in, in the case for some of you you've controlled You've turned that control over to your fears. You've let your worries and your fears keep you from having that relationship that you desire. So if you if you sit down and you take the time to to feel your emotions and to really think about, okay, why am I why am I stuck in this unhappy relationship? Why why am I putting up with someone treating me like that? Why am I not speaking up for myself? Why why am I not sharing my feelings with my partner? And if, if you think about those things and you really allow yourself to feel those deep emotions, you, you'll get to the root cause. And for most of you, I'm getting that it's fear. But once you get to the root cause of it, that's when you can heal it and release it. And that's where the magic begins. Because I get a lot of you that, that are in this situation, you're just really unhappy. But all you need to do is tap into those feelings, regain control of your life, and you will free yourself. And you'll be able to move forward into, into the happiness you desire. For some, those of you that are single, you'll find that partner. And for those of you that are in a relationship, some of you tapping into those feelings and those feelings of discontentment and that epiphany, you'll, you'll end the relationship and move forward to what it is that you really desire. But for some of you, you'll actually strengthen the relationship that you're in. Because tapping into those emotions allowing yourself to feel those, to heal, to release. There's going to come a point for those of you that are in a relationship where you're going to have to have an honest, open, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your partner. 
And for some of you, it will renew your commitment, reignite that spark. It'll bring you closer. But I do get that you're going to have to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations because you're just, you're just harboring a lot of emotions and a lot of resentment. And you've just been completely masking and stuffing down your feelings because you've not wanted to, to heal yourself, which I do get for a large number of you. It, it's it's fear-based. Fear of getting hurt, fear of getting burnt again, fear of being embarrassed, fear of not being worthy, competent. Anything that past partners have wrongly pointed up to or made you feel you're afraid is going to manifest in this relationship so so you just stuff it down and don't heal it but but this is the time for you to tap in to heal and release those emotions and to have that conversation and again for a number of you it, it's <laughs> most of you it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation but it will get better after you have the conversation. And for some of you, it's even going to be more difficult to have that conversation because you know it's going to upset your partner because you know the outcome will be like truly freeing yourself of that relationship. But, but I'm getting in the end, it, it's necessary for you to have this heart to heart conversation. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to them. And you're not going to ever move forward to having your dreams fulfilled until you have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So call on the angels for their help. They can definitely step in and help you. And those of you that are married, you know, give it, give it a good shot. When you're working on these emotions and you're working on your healing, you know, get a counselor, get someone to help you. And they'll, they'll help you with those heart-to-heart -heart conversations as well by being a mediator. And I'm getting that you could benefit from that for those of you in order to save your marriage. But it's going to be some, some difficult conversations, but it's going to be worth it. So what I'm getting is don't be afraid of those conversations. And for, so, for some of you that are single, I'm getting that it's time for you as part of your epiphany to have that heart, com heart conversation with yourself. Like, you know, why do I keep sabotaging relationships? Why do I keep myself trapped? Why don't I share my feelings? What is really the root cause that's keeping me from opening up and truly connecting with someone? Then you'll have your aha moment. And then you need to just finish that by releasing by healing it, by letting those feelings go so that you are able to move forward. Work on that and you will have success and you are surrounded by angels to help you get through that. So just rely on them, ask for their help and um, get yourself ready for the other end because it is there. And it is possible for those of, um, <laughs> there are a number of you out there that have had success. You've gone through all this and now your dreams are coming true. Now just the rest of you are going to get caught up. So I do wish you the very best. Thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel and leaving comments. I love your comments, your feedback. Many thanks for that. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.